Good evening, Trans family. My name is Kate Trans, Trans Music Addicted TV, and please welcome my very special guest, Snyder. We're back to life. How does it make you feel? Really good, actually. I think my last uh, gig was 18 months ago, and then I played Australia about uh, three months ago. So that was my first gig back after 18 months, so it's good to be back to some sort of normality at least. Playing music to people that love music is always a good thing, so yeah, it's good to be back. This is your first time on Untold Festival. Do you have any expectations? Yeah, I think I, I watched some of the videos from last year, the trans stage, and you know, the last time was on, so it looks like a really cool vibe here. I don't know how popular trance is here but by the looks of things it looks really popular from the stage so I'm excited for my set and hopefully my sound uh, goes down well here. I can tell you that uh, outside is a real craziness people are just fantastic. Um, what are you currently working at? Uh, loads of stuff at the moment I mean over lockdown I've been sort of stockpiling all my music uh, I didn't release very much over lockdown. I wanted to wait until the show started come back because I think it's important to uh, road test the music and play the music out so you can get a, a grasp of how you're going to finish it. So I have lots of tracks to showcase tonight, some new stuff as well from the label After Dark. So lots of new material coming up, yeah. Uh, are there any releases that you recommend to listen to our viewers? Well, the latest uh, release on After Dark, Asteroid Home, which went to number one in Beatport on the trance chart. I think it's an amazing record, one of my favorites this year. Uh, really unique melody, proper uplifting trance with a wee bit of a tech edge. So that's my favorite record at the minute, I think. How did you use uh, Lockdown as a DJ and producer? I think at the start, uh, I was taking some time off and enjoying some normality in my life, some routine, getting regular sleep patterns, exercise, spend family time, and then I think after three, four months I realized, you know, this is going to go on like a wee bit longer than expected. So I just channeled my energy into the studio and used it as, you know, studio time as much as possible because as a DJ when you're touring all the time, your studio time is very limited, you're getting back from like a weekend away catching up with sleep and you know you can your 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 turn weekend can go into four or five days rather than just like two days the weekend so yeah uh just making music and, and family time and living a semi-normal life i suppose is there anything interesting that you discovered about yourself during lockdown actually yeah uh <laughs> I think I started like uh, a lot of mountain walking and there's something that I was never really into. I mean I train in the gym and stuff and I started that and I really enjoyed that so now I'm doing that every like a couple of weeks. I'm going around like different uh, mountains in Ireland and trying to get up the mountains and I'm actually going to Scotland in a couple of weeks to do some mountains as well so yeah that's a new, a new passion of mine. How long it will last I don't know but yeah. After all that shit that happens to people working in electronic dance music, I want to ask you what freedom means to you. Freedom is the means to me uh, a lot of things. Freedom of choice, freedom to like live your life, and freedom of choice is very important to me. So I think like that needs to be carried through, even with uh, the whole vaccine status. And all. I think it's very important that. We don't lose our freedom of choice, so I think that's very, very important. Uh, I think we're very lucky in this world that we can travel a lot and do lots of different things without restrictions. And I, you know, I'd, I would like to see it return to like uh, some sort of way it was before. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take, whether it will ever return to that normality, but I think maybe the pandemic has taught a lot of us how much uh, freedom we really had and we've sort of took it for granted and for me I just really want things to be back to normal I think everyone does yeah. yeah if coronavirus would be a male DJ how would you describe his DJ skills and he's still going on set open to close how would I describe describe his DJ skills and his sound yeah uh, it's a tough one I'd say hard style maybe <laughs> maybe aggressive uh, yeah I used to play that sort of music actually when I was first started out. I was a hardcore DJ, so I like that sort of style. So yeah, I mean, uh, that's how I would describe it. Tough, no-nonsense music and 
yeah. Hopefully it goes away pretty soon. <laughs> what do you think about his release chaos uh, made together with Corona idiots and governments? I, <laughs> I didn't hear this one yet. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get to hear it. <laughs> Final message for all people who are watching us right now. Yeah, guys, I uh, hope you enjoy the set tonight if you're here at Untold. If you're not, you should be. And yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy trance music and I hope normality returns soon and stay safe. Ladies and gentlemen, Snyder, thank you so much for the interview.